the power of a second chance, the beauty of getting up and starting again. In this week's Torah portion, we see that beauty. We see it played out in the unbelievable leadership of Moses. Perhaps this week's Torah portion, Pasha's Kitisa, is the high point of Moses' leadership. The Jewish people are standing at the bottom of the mountain. Moses is at the top, receiving the Torah from God. It should be a happy time. It should be a time full of anticipation, full of excitement. This is the marriage between the Israelites and God in the marriage document that is forged through the Torah. Instead, despair, failure, darkness, as in the void that is left by Moses' absence, the Jewish people begin to despair. They need an intermediary. They need some way to contact God. And instead of waiting one day more, they build a golden calf, a molten image, a mask, to fill the gap between them and God. Moses comes down the mountain, sees what they've done, smashes the tablets, locks down the moment, returns up to the top of the mountain to meet God's ire and anger and sadness at being betrayed. And at this moment, God says, well, actually, I think we're done with the Israelites, Moses. We'll continue with you, you know, new people, the people of Moses, the Mosaic tradition will continue with you, but we're, we're done. And Moses says, no, we're not. I'm a leader. I stand with my people. You're going to lock them down, you lock me down too. Emcheni na mesefrecha, he says, I'll just wipe me out from the book if you're going to wipe them out. Wipe me out too. I refuse to be party to this plan. In actual fact, God seems to welcome that response. That was the response that God was searching for. But Moses activates it. And says it's time for a second chance. At the very heart of giving the Torah, at the very heart of the high point of our entire history, is the truth, is the kindness, is the mercy of a second chance. That is something that we sing out and celebrate throughout the generations as the 13 attributes of mercy, the prayer that is there to intercede on behalf of the Jews. Hashem, Hashem, Keol Rafa Mechanan, Erech HaPai Rav Emes. That formula is transmitted to Moses and is given over from generation to generation to learn that at its heart the Torah is about learning from our mistakes and trying again. But there's an added dimension, which is that Moses is transformed in this process. After he was given the first set of tablets, he'd had a revelatory experience. When he came down, his face wasn't shining, wasn't on fire with those poorly translated word for horns. Kranim, karne or. Those beams of light that radiated from his face. But after the second set of tablets are given... Now Moses' face is a light. There's something so sweet about trying again and returning. Well, we've had our own lockdown of sorts. The shul's been closed. We've been kept away from each other, kept away from worship, kept away from coming together as a community. My friends, it's time for a second chance. It's time to come back. It's time to come back to shul to come back and gather as a community. Yes, it's not ideal yet. Yes, there are still face masks. Yes, there are still restrictions on singing and what have you. But it's time to shine. It's time for the faces to light up. And time for us to come together in our holy space in the heart of Barnet and be a community together once more. The shul is as safe as we can possibly make it, as safe as any possible space could be. Come. Come back home. Come back and shine. Shabbat shalom.